What's up guys, it is me Mads and Ricky Four here for the second half of March's Gaming with Gold videos. Um, so I look at all the games we get of our Games with Gold subscription, I play them, I talk about them, I say what I like and I don't like, I give them final thoughts and I give a thumbs up whether I think it's a good game or a bad game. So our third game for the month is Valor. Um, when I first saw this, I was like, ah, I just thought it was garbage. But then I actually, I've actually just realized what that stands for. Vicious Attack Llama Apocalypse. Uh, now you've got me intrigued because that is just, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know anything about this game. I've never heard about this game, so I don't know what it's about. Uh, from what I can read online, it's just a frantic top-down shooter. So you remotely pilot an endless supply of mechs on your ocean carrier offshore of your pockets, fighting through the llama hordes to take down the llamanati. So <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure what to uh, say. Um, <laughs> this is a very, very strange concept. Uh, I'm, I'm very intrigued. Um, he ate a horde of killer llamas. That is what every game needs. Um, yeah, <laughs> it is. It's, it, it's a bit of a a, uh, a funny one. I really am baffled. But anyway, uh, so let's jump in and play the game and see what it's like. Uh, so let's do that. All right, here we are in game. I'm seriously super confused about this game, but I am intrigued. Uh, I should probably do the training just just to kind of uh, it's probably best. Yes, reload. Okay, got it. All right. Yes. Okay. Okay. Alright, got it. Okay, gotcha. Oh. Jesus, those hollow llamas are quite dangerous. Okay. It, it kind of looks all right graphically. It, it controls quite fine. Ooh, oh, I like that. I really like that. Try dashing. Ooh. I'll pinpoint nests on your HEV using this icon. Come on. Oh, what have I got to destroy these nests? Okay. Okay, you gotta hold that down to bring that up. Gotcha. Sometimes a gate will call it a perk drop. Hooray, perks all around. Jesus, they're unrelenting these llamas. Llamazon will send you perks along the way to help you out. Gotcha. Oh my god. Yeah, you've already told me that. Here we go. Time for a new challenge, hotshot. Oh. Contra gun. 
Oh, what is this? Okay, it's very, it's very actually quite simple to use, really. It's not too hard. Oh god, but these llamas come out of nowhere. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Oh my, I was not expecting this chaos. Jesus Christ. That was a bit chaotic. Well, I must have killed more than 30 llamas there. Yeah, it's it's not too bad like to look at. It's nothing special, but it's not, it's, it's not bad looking. There we go, boom. The engineering department has let me know that they have something special in store for you. Wow, these guys are crazy. Like, is there there's no mini map at all? I've just got to walk around. That's a bit of a shame. It could have done with having a little kind of mini map or a little waypoint or some sort, I feel like. Jesus, didn't really pick the right weapon, I don't think. Jesus. Yeah, I don't really like this weapon. Oh my god. Sound the alarm up. They're coming from all sides. Oh no. Oh my god. This is actually chaotic. In kind of a enjoyable way. God. So I was taken out. Redeploy. And um, where does it redeploy me? Okay, ah, uh, start from the beginning. Yeah. Get in there. Oh god. Is this level change? I don't know. I don't know. Like why why can't I if I gotta if I gotta go there? You didn't really kind of Tell me, in a way. Oh my god. You know what? This is actually quite enjoyable. I was actually prepared to kind of like write this off of just as a 
a bit of garbage really, but it's it's not bad. Oh my god. Who knew llamas could be so dangerous? You go on a coast and serious damage if you keep that up. Okay, is it one of those roguelikes where the level changes when you restart? So it's never the same. Oh, right, that's fair enough. Feeling up for a challenge? Oh god, that's that's a rubbish weapon. I'm not gonna lie. I think I think I didn't back out there with it with a decent weapon. Oh my god. Oh, hello. I don't mind this freeze ray at all. Oh. Oh my God. Yeah, he's actually quite a nice, uh, simple game to to play really it's it's, no, it's nothing special or anything like that it's just that oh and the you know what's actually cool it's actually feels like it's play, it feels quite nice is the uh is the vibration you get a real sense of the weapon that really kind of oh my god Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is actually probably one of the most zaniest games I've actually kind of uh, had the privilege of, of uh, experiencing. But it's actually very enjoyable. I'm not going to lie there. I'm actually quite enjoying it myself. To a certain extent. It's nothing, it's nothing amazing. But it's pretty good. Because uh, you know what? This is great. When you get these games and you're kind of a bit like... Uh, you're... You're, you're very, you question it, you're like, what is this rubbish? And you think it's going to actually deter it. And it turns out to be an all right game. You know, nothing, nothing great, but not too bad, to be honest. Not bad at all. And it's, it's pretty good. It's controlling very well, um, you know. Oh, there we go. Oh, they are super relentless. So I'm only playing this on like normal or casual, whatever it is. There was just there was just two modes of difficulty, and I'm just playing it at the. Oh, wow.
Oh my god, I actually am amazed that I managed to survive that. That is actually chaos. That is absolute chaos. Oh, wow. There we go, bang. Let's see, I need, I need different weapons, that's what I need. I need some better weapons, I feel like my weapons suck big time. But yeah, um, yeah, this is, a, you know, it's, it's one of these weird, weird games. I still think it's a bit of a strange one to kind of uh, give us, you know, but maybe it, it's kind of all right. Uh, you know, it just, it just be a shame we don't get anything, not, don't really get anything top tier uh, if it isn't like a, a, uh, a Giz of War game or something like that. We very rarely get anything just like very high up in, in super quality and like AAA standards. Oh, oh, oh. No, oh, you son of a. Wow, so how many did I do? I did 534 of the smaller ones, 101 of the bigger ones. Cost of taxpayers $1.3 million. Okay, okay, I'll do, I'll jump into it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, the, the game's kind of controlling all right. Um, I'll give a final thoughts now because it is pretty standard what you see and what you get. So yeah, the final thoughts is now. Um, controls, controls is pretty good. It controls very well for what it is. It's not hard to kind of uh, really get used to use the controls. You know, you just use the right stick to right stick to aim. And there we go. Bang! You're ready to start. You know, each each trigger is a shit. It's the fire. It's perfect. Uh, graphically, um, it, it's it's okay. It's it's not pushing it. It isn't. There's no boundaries to push. To be honest, um, you know the, the buildings. They look all right. You know, n nothing. Uh, it's not going to be challenging any type of game. But you know, what? it's a not a bad little kind of game. Really, it plays all right. It looks all right. Um, I was pre well prepared to write this off before I kind of started up the game. I, I just thought, "What is this garbage?" Uh, and now I'm playing it. I'm like, "Oh, you know what? I'm actually ultra surprised at this game." Um, you know what? Pretty uh, fun game for them to give us uh, in a way. Uh, you know, considering most of their kind of uh, efforts goes into Game Pass now, um, so we're not getting anything super great. Um, it is what it is. That is how they're going to be treating Games of Gold. It's pretty kind of uh, left to. I don't know. I'm, I'm actually still wondered why they they bother support it and not just try a. Uh, Kind of get rid of it and make everyone move over to some sort of Game Pass subscription. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't really get it. Uh, but yeah, but this is an all right game. It plays quite nice, easy to play, easy to get into. Um, now, when I try to look online for up reviews, there is basically. Uh, not really many. When you go into Metacritic, uh, this is the Windows version. Windows Central gave it a 90. GameSpew, never heard of it, gave it a 70. 
expert talent 62 um, so I'm going to go with the, the lower ones because uh, this seems that seems a bit suspicious of being so high I, I don't get that at all um, but uh, yeah I can see this being like a 7 6 out of 10 I can really see that and understand that because um, it does it does feel like that kind of game it's nothing special but it is like a half decent fun game to jump in and play uh, so that is pretty good um, yeah it's just a very odd game for to give us but a, a quite enjoyable game and if I was to give this a thumb score or you know what just because it's so out there and because I was actually really surprised I'm gonna give it uh, I, f I, f I feel like I can't give it a full one because that kind of just go about of me thinking of like you know is it a good game for them to give us it pro probably not it's probably not an, the best of games they could have given us they could have given us something a lot better but it's a, it's a nice game it's not bad it controls well it looks all right you know the sound effects are aren't too shabby they they kind of they they do their part really so you can't really have too much, uh, too many complaints on that side. So a thumb score, or I'm toss up between a one thumb up and a three quarter of a thumb up. Um, I'm really, really uh, not sure. But you know what? I'm going to give this a one thumb up, but just purely the fact because you get to kill hordes of llamas, and I thought that would never ever happen in the game. Uh, but now that clearly is not the case uh, I get to kill a load of llamas I'm not saying that I ever want to do that in real life uh, it's just something I would never expect to, to actually ever do in a game so yeah I'm gonna give it a one thumb up for Valor uh, I'm almost gonna forget its name Vicious Attack Llama Apocalypse that has got a one thumb up from me uh, so yeah, I'm actually really surprised this game. It's not bad. Definitely worth a go and a play for a bit. I think you can easily probably get some uh, hours of enjoyment out of this game. Uh, so, which is really good when you're kind of able to get that because you know, in the end, you know, should should, should you be getting 30, 50 hours like enjoyment out of one of the free games that Microsoft give us for? Uh, uh, games of gold probably not probably not but this is this is half decent it plays nice and you it is enjoyable so yeah a one thumb up i think is like very justified very very justified so yeah anyway let's end that video here we've got one more game for march and uh this is another game that I, when I look at it, I'm like a very, very unsure about that offering. Anyway, let's see if that will kind of uh, surprise me uh, the same way as this game did, because you never know, it may surprise, surprise me, and I might give it a good score, but we'll see. It's been a bit of a weird month, you know, uh, with the games, but that'll be in my, my kind of final thoughts of, uh, of the next game when I talk about uh, well, I give my final point of view uh, for the month. Anyway, so uh, until the next video, guys, uh, take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.